Today I have another very exciting video for you. I'm gonna be lip swatching all the new Catrice Shine Balm liquid lipsticks. They are glossy, shiny, but full pigment liquid lipsticks that are supposed to wear for eight hours. I already had these three shades. I already showed them to you in a short and a first impression video. These were my favorite shades. But when I actually started wearing these, trying them out, I realized that I really like this formula. And then after doing the swatch video of all the juicy lip balms, I realized that I was about halfway there to do a full swatch video of these as well. And I thought, you know, this is just a very nice way to see what the colors actually look like and really like pick the one that you like. So I just wanted to show you all of these. These are shiny, these are comfortable, these are really, really nice and flattering. You know what, let's just get into it. I'm just gonna start out uh, with seven shades. We're going from 010 to 017. All right, the first shade is French Silk. This is a very light nude. With these, you have to make sure that your lips are completely clean. So I just took off my lip balm and you have to shake them really well before applying. So that's what we're gonna do. And also after you you have applied the lipstick you have to wait for it to set you shouldn't rub your lips together so this is what we're gonna do I personally don't feel like this is a very finicky formula in that regard like if you forget to shake it up if you forget to not rub your lips together it's still gonna work it's still gonna be comfortable it's still gonna be totally fine but it just works a little better that way it's not like the Maybelline a vinyl ink where you really really have to be kind of careful it's a little finicky those are transfer proof though and these are not like they stay on long but there is gonna be some transfer on your food on your glass i feel like with these you don't have to wait very long and they are just not sticky at all they are so comfortable like they are very very nice feeling on the lips i think you're paying a little bit for the comfort with the transfer but i'm totally fine with it I actually love how this like wears. There's no stickiness, there's no weirdness. If I rub my lips together, it's still looking good. So yeah, that is a French silk. All right, shade 020 is called Good Taste. This is a bit of a mauve nude. Shake it up. I also feel like these are pretty easy to apply. I don't feel like it takes too long to do that. I really like this shade. This, I think, is gonna be one of my favorites of the whole line. Uh, it's just very wearable, cool tone, a little mauve but not too deep. Just gonna let it dry for a little bit. But the drying, I would say, doesn't really change the appearance. All right, I think I've waited long enough. Uh, let's do a little bit of a transfer test for you so you can see how much actually comes off after doing the steps the way you're supposed to this so it is just a little bit of transfer but nothing too crazy it's not like your whole lip is coming off um it's not too smeary i would say this is something that i can definitely deal with for the level of comfort that you have with these liquid lipsticks next up we have a 030 sweet talker it's a little bit of a more rosy almost peachy rosy nude Ooh, I really like this one. I like this one more than I thought. It is very fresh, very spring, very rosy, peachy, as I said. I would say this one still pulls quite pink, but it's a really cute shade. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. All right, my lips are getting a little stained and a little sticky, but we're powering through. Next shade is gonna be the Bright Red. This is the one in 040 about last night. This is gonna be a true red, I think. Yeah, that is a true red, very bright, not leaning cool, not leaning warm, like in the middle. I 
all right i don't think this is the best application in the world but i have to say i am impressed with this red lipstick i don't know if it's really my type of shade but it looks really good just the like the gloss on the red. I think this is a really nice shade. And if you're someone who likes a glossy red, then I think this is gonna be a good solution for something that isn't too smeary or too high maintenance. Yeah, I really like how this one looks. It is just a staple. It is a true red. It's a really bright, beautiful shade. This one is difficult to remove. This might become a problem. All right, it's kind of happening. All right, my lips look beat up and we have three more shades to go. Let's see, 050. That's also gonna be an interesting one. This is feeling very special. This is a berry shade. Looks really pretty. I think from now on I'm gonna be looking pretty crazy because this is gonna be hard to remove. That is absolutely stunning though. I love this shade. It is, yes, it's berry, but it's kind of like toned down. It's more of a cool toned red. It leans even a little bit more pink and just slightly toned down. I feel like this is the perfect winter, not too bright statement lip. Like I can see myself wearing this for sure. I think this is beautiful, especially if you're leaning a bit more cool tone. Like this is more of the cool tone version. And then we have the more neutral, slightly warm leaning, maybe a more neutral version. I think this one is stunning, beautiful. It is just statement but it's still toned down i feel like it's kind of like if a statement were nude then it would be this for me this is the perfect tone of berry i i wouldn't change a thing i would keep it this way i would love it and i think i'm gonna love this one all right 060 pinky promise this one is one of the ones that i already had it's a bit of a deeper pink i already know that i love this shade but of course i'm still gonna swatch it for you This one is just gorgeous. It's my type of kind of statement lip. It is a pink, so slightly deeper, but not too bright with a bit of a lilac -y undertone. It's almost a little purple. I love it. It's just stunning. I think this is a great shade. It's probably one of my faves of the whole line. But I have to say, most of these shades I would definitely wear. Maybe the red is a little out there for me, but this one, once again, stunning, beautiful. I think it's a beautiful shade. And it's just, it's still smoothing over my lips, even though they are like raw from the swatching, from taking off the lipsticks. I feel like they're still looking good. Like they still look good with this lip product on top of it. And that isn't always the case. All right, I feel like I have lipstick all over my face. I probably have. This is the, this is the shade Honey. Huh? Here it says Honey, here it says... Hottie. Is it honey or hottie? 070 hottie. This looks like a brown nude. The choice of colors in this line is just amazing. This shade is such a beautiful milk chocolatey brown. I could not have thought of this shade better myself. I love these kinds of shades that are kind of like this chocolatey brown situation. It's just a very nice way to wear a lip that's a little elevated, a little bit more than just a nude, but it's still working really well with more neutral tones or even more bright tones. like. It is a nude, but just a little special. And I think that this is gonna work on a lot of skin tones. I think this is gonna be really, really nice on a lot of skin tones. Keep in mind that I am very fair and I'm also low contrast. So a lot of shades pull a little darker on me than they do on a lot of people. Um, I really like this shade. I think this is a beautiful shade. It's one of my favorites. Um, I think, I think I have six favorites. Well, maybe not the lightest nude, 
Um, the light nude is a little bit harder for me to wear. I feel like everything except the bright red and the lightest nude is my favorite. can see myself wearing them a lot. I think this is a great range. I'm happy with all of the shades that I have here in front of me. And yeah, I just think this is such a nice way to wear a long wearing lip because it's just not uncomfortable at all. The Maybelline Vinyl Ink ones, they are just a little sticky and this is just... You rub your lips together, it feels so nice, it feels so plush. Your lips don't feel like they are suffocating, they, it doesn't feel too heavy. I just think this is a great formula. I think Catrice did a great job creating this. Also, it's, it's super affordable. It's amazing, it's amazing. I really like these. By the way, a little bonus. I am actually wearing the liquid blush, the blush of her liquid blush today. I just did a short, gonna see what I can like make of that in a minute. A minute is short. Um, they're not lying when they're calling it shorts. But I think these, I'm just kind of, I've just mixed them now on the cheeks. I think these blend out very well. They are so nice and kind of sheer and glowy, but billable. I think the shades are really nice. I like this more than the cheek palette. So if you're still kind of like being like, what cream cheek product do I want to try? I would say these, these are really nice. And I'm also wearing the holographic nail polish. I did a short with that. It's stunning. It's truly holographic and it is beautiful. It's stunning. I don't know if you can see it right now. But I will put, I will just insert the short. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna see it, it's beautiful, highly recommend it. And that's gonna be the end for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.